how you doing today? My name is Scott. I'm the creator of RC Terminator. And uh thanks for coming back to the RC and and uh today it's gonna be some repairs. Uh got some parts as you see behind me. Got some parts ordered for the trailer, one I've been building up for the last couple weeks. You see it's it's getting there. Truck's actually holding its own right now. You know, just waiting for some other stuff to finish up that build. You know, today we're just going to do some repairs, some maintenance. Kind of want to change out the motor in one of my trucks. And I uh, figured I'd share it with you guys. Uh, see what's actually coming out and what I'm putting in it. Definitely going to be more capable for what I want to do. So let's go ahead and get to this video. Alright, here we go. You see what's up on the table? It's my Losi Triple uh, X short course truck, four wheel drive. Uh, actually, I am taking a little baby motor out of here, and I'm putting a big boy in it. Let me see what we got going on here. There we go. See, I'm running a 3S. Uh, 5200 50C discharge hard pack lipo. I did a review on that battery. Remember, I bought two of these for like 60 bucks. You know, took a beating. Love it, hard pack. And I am actually pulling this motor out. It's actually got the adjustable, upgraded adjustable motor plate. Awesome. I'm pulling out a uh, a BL motor, 3664 pole, uh, 2600 kV with a hobby wing waterproof 2 to 4s lipo uh, re uh, receiver or da 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 da, da speed controller. Uh, the issue with this is, I think this ESC is no good. At least the cooling fan's not. This thing heats up and just stops. That and it's pretty slow for this motor. What I'm putting in it, you guys are gonna like this. Ah, let's dump some dirt out of it. last bash series we did testing that battery out pulled this out of my little pile don't ever get rid of stuff never know when you might need it definitely on a budget this one is a 5.5 turn brushless motor a 6000 kV and I'm actually running in with another hobby wing ESC. This one's a 130 amp ESC. So definitely I can run up to a 4S with this bad boy. Look at them bullet connectors. They're huge. Let's see if I can get you focused in on it. Look how big them things are. Compared to normal ones, these are twice the size. More voltage. That's what we want. Motor wires are just long enough to go where I want it to go. And this is pretty simple to install and put together. We just want to find the top, top for the plate. Line them up. And put it together. Make sure you don't put too long of screws in these things, because if you do, it's going to lock the motor up. We don't want to damage this motor. This motor is too expensive to damage. Do it on both sides. Get your bolts put in. Get everything snug down where you want it. And 
Uh, trying out a different camera today. I hope everything works good for us. I'm going to jump back and forth on different cameras and we're going to see. But uh, so far I think I'm going to run with this one. I kind of like it. A nice external mic on it. All that good stuff. Nice. That's all done. Then we're going to... I got to... Not gonna put a spur the pinion gear on it yet. I gotta go actually get a different one, uh, different pitch on this one compared to the rest of them. So I gotta find a, I gotta go down to my local hobby store, order one online for what I want. But uh, we're gonna get it at least stuck in the hole. Yeah, that motor looks a lot better in there. It already looks better. And uh. I don't know what everybody uses out there in YouTube land, but I actually use 3M, two-sided tape. I get the real thin stuff. And you see how thin that is. It's like paper thin. Awesome stuff. And uh, I just got a regular hobby knife. Guesstimate about the size that I need and I just cut it easy. Don't go crazy with it because you'll cut through it all of it You see comes right off And I run a Get a couple pieces put in I mean you can do the whole length You can do the whole length of it or you can do like I do and do little pieces I'd rather do little pieces than at least I don't go overboard with it And I've had this roll for uh, six, seven years. You see, I just get it put on there. And it actually holds very well. You see all that jumping and stuff I do with these trucks. It don't come off. It holds real good. As long as your area is clean. No foreign objects or debris. You're good to go. I mean, everybody's got different little tricks. This is my little trick. A lot of people know about it. Some people don't, or I'm hoping I... But the people that don't know about it, know about it, and uh, they're happy about it. That's what I'm hoping for. That's the point of making these videos. To, for people who don't know something, maybe teach them something new. You see, it's all ripped off. Just keep in mind of the direction because we want to have enough room for our battery. And you see this is the Dean's T-plug. All my batteries are T-plugs. Get this thing lined up where you want it and get it pushed down. And you see that's, I'm moving the whole truck now, that's solid. See, that's solid. That's perfect. It's exactly what I want. Give it a good little push down. Power switch is good. It's out of my way. And then it's just a point of plugging these in. Now, I don't know if anybody's ever had an issue with this, but these little bullet connectors, if they don't fit tight, some of them don't. Get yourself a, uh, I don't know, just something that's going to fit snug in the holes like like an allen this one is an h3 3.0 just push it in there a little bit open them holes up and if the h3 is a little too big go next size down all you want to do is try to open them open them up just a little bit just enough you want it nice and tight you don't want to be jumping and they fall off that's kind of embarrassing then your truck doesn't move and you're like oh man what's going on and you just solve the problem now before it becomes a bigger problem and then just a point of plugging in oh yeah that's a lot tighter see that's what you want get you where you guys can see a little bit better so you want it to go in with a little resistance. Kind of hear that popping?
listen. It kind of slides in nice and snug. Perfect. Make sure we're all covered up. Good heat shrink. That's out of my way. That's perfect. And then my receiver plug. Now this, this truck's a little odd because it's longer. I set these up a little bit differently. I'll get this, just this thing run out of my way here. I'll run this through the transmission section just to keep it up out of the way from the drive shaft. And that's plenty far enough. The spur gear actually covers so it doesn't get even hit. And then I've got a little splitter wire here. I'll just get plugged into that. And then ESC powers it. Let's go ahead and pull the controller out. We're just going to test this. Make sure everything worked as it should. You guys know my controller. Very famous controller here. The uh, IT4S. Select model. I think it's this one. Been a while. Sounds like it. Yeah. Very nice. Well, and it does have reverse as well. But uh, that's my uh, little quick install. I mean, it really doesn't take too long. And uh, that's, that's about it. Well, guys, I hope this uh, kind of helps in a little ways. I mean, just... I'm pretty much saying don't ever throw your stuff away. You know, you never know when you might need it. Right? Your screws, body clips, uh, little spacers, your shims. You know, save them in a little plastic container. A Ziploc bag. You know, if you're out there and you're a young, young person, you know, enjoying the hobby, ask your parents for a little Ziploc bag or a little storage container that they're not using no more. Maybe it's something you guys, you can save up and save a few little things. You see in the background there's a little plastic tote right there. That, hey, that was one man's trash and another man's treasure. Got that at a yard sale for a nickel. I had to get it. Needed it. You can always use it. And uh, Now, next video, we're going to have the parts for that. I should be getting them in the next couple days. So we're going to get that thing put together. So uh, stay tuned. So uh, hopefully everything comes in. I'm expecting uh, one, two, two or three different things. So fingers crossed that they show up. But I've got to, I've got to show you guys. I've already got the uh, hitch set up. Got the ball. All that stuff already set up. Yeah, you can see it's trailer sitting on the truck. I mean, I'm going to push the trailer. It goes the truck. And that's where I'm at right now, guys. I push the truck, the trailer moves. I push the trailer, the truck moves. That's what we wanted. Got a pivot point. I'm just waiting for a couple more things so we can get that trailer knocked out. Kind of wanted to put my B4 up there just to, for show. I ain't got nothing else right now. I mean, it'll fit the trail trucks on there. It'll fit whatever we want to put on there. But uh, do me a favor. If this is something you guys like, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget the thumbs up. And uh, over, I think over here, check it out. I'm going to put 
this video with this trailer, uh, part three. Or I can put all three up there and let you guys check all of them out. Actually, I'll go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and put all three of them in there. I'll put the build series in there for you guys. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, maybe you can get caught up on it. But uh, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know. Let me know if this is something you guys like to do, the budget stuff. And if it is, we'll keep it going. Because I don't mind going cheap. I don't mind not spending a whole lot of money. I try to recycle what I can. So, let me know. Let me know in the comment section. I appreciate it. Thanks.